Hello and welcome back to D and D. Next time I blow out. Welcome back to episode sixteen. We are in a <laughs> labyrinth. And for those of you who don't know what a labyrinth is, it's a maze, you ninny. Go read a book. <laughs> the labyrinth currently doesn't look like a maze. It looks like a hallway that goes left and right. Just for the listeners to know, Trevor can't talk tonight. That's Hi. okay. And Taylor, you're being such a supportive person that I really admire you from afar. Please speak for our dear friend, Trevor. So, Hello. you guys get to choose what to do. That's a bird. What's a plane? No, it's Superman. I want to go right. All right. Seeing the two of them on the screen is making me really sad. Because they're not. They're here. not in Tahoe. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it just makes me sad. I they're like literally the... like 12 minutes away. I, don't... Yeah, well, I think it's cute. It is, but... Only when they start making out will it be cute. Uh... <laughs> That's not encouragement. I'm just saying. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> Listener, oh my god, they're going at it. Listener, turn away. Wait, wait, you can't see anything. Um, the message. Here we go. The message is just like... That's what's on the wall. <laughs> the message just decodes to, that's a right arrow. <laughs> <laughs> is it between the arrows? It. The message is atop. The arrow is then below, pointing to the right. Just says, mind the gap. Yeah. Mind the gap. And then you guys can also blatantly hear, you don't even have to roll a cutting check because it's pretty dang loud. Off to the left side, you are hearing quite a bit of ruckus. And it sounds similar to like an avalanche, or it sounds more like a boulder rolling down a giant hill. Sisyphus? Hmm. What's that? Sisyphus? It could be. <laughs> Reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> Why is rolling down hills? <laughs> Who's the boulder in this metaphor? <laughs> Our house was on a slant, so we rolled all kinds of shit down there. I lived in Auburn. There was no flat land. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I rolled my brothers down those hills. <laughs> That's what I, I call did. my brothers. Boulders. I, did. Uh, I put them in the radio flyer first, usually. <laughs> uh-uh. I put them like a trash can and just blew it up. We did that too. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I don't know how we're alive. All right. The 90s were much simpler times. <laughs> they were. Before internet. All right, what's the message say? Jesus. <laughs> Shut up, Jeff. Actually, that's really ironic. It says Jesus. Hmm. It's a Christianity d and uh. <laughs> That makes me kind of funny. <laughs> the final boss is a giant Bible. What the crap? <laughs> Kill the book, burn it! <laughs> fire and burn it! It says fly, Icarus. Oh no, it's holy fire. Why did this like. Because they turned off their screen. Oh. Oh. Well, I hope they're not vulnerable. You can show it to them. You what? Oh. It was in protest. It's a Christianity DD. Oh. <laughs> it says. <laughs> Fly. Fly, Icarus. Fly, you fools. Icarus. Fly, you fools. Everybody give me a cunning check, please. Okay. Hmm. Seven. Twelve. We both have zero cunning, darling. Um, four. Eight. Those are really good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Well, Undyne rolled a 20. So she's like, what are those? And she looks up, and you guys can all look up as well if you choose to, and there are significant beams of wood going from one edge, or one side of the hall to the other. And they all are proceeding down the right way. What does everybody do? I was right. We should go right. <laughs> and that, that was the same direction as the boulder? The boulder is on the left side. <clears throat> the boulder! Off to the direction that... Got it. The yeah. beams are going. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I wonder if we're going to have to, like, utilize the uh, wooden beams to, like... I don't know, like, dangle from it or something. Because there's, like, a... 
the gap we have to jump over or climb over. So or use magnesis to grab it yeah. and then lift it up and then use stasis to freeze it and then hit, hit, hit to make it go flying. Yeah. yeah. Breath of the Wild reference. Yeah. Yeah. I, I instantly knew when he said magnesis. <sighs> I've been saying nothing but Trevor, I also cards. have our chat up on my screen, so if you need to type anything, I'm right there. Dionysia kills <laughs> Trevor <laughs> Smash. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um well <laughs> Episode 16, No Jesus d and <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's cool. Pontius Pilate's your friend, like, he's your ally. <laughs> What's up, Pilate? <laughs> anyway. Hi. Which way should we go, guys? Oh. PP. <laughs> Fuck you, PP. Pontius Pilot. Right. Ooh. 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 Right. <laughs> yeah, brother. We're playing against <laughs> Jesus, man. Fuck <laughs> you. So I imagine this labyrinth place since we went through like a freaking wormhole to get here. My uh, mysticism isn't going to be so great because I don't even think that we're like under like the regular stars anymore. You are not. You do not see any sky. The ceiling is actually domed, kind of like a, kind of like a teardrop point at the very top, and then it comes down like an arch, and then comes. Yeah. And then I, I don't even think we're in like. You're not gonna like that. The regular. I think we're like, We could be in like a wholly like different dimension. My mysticism would be completely. Hammer says, "Please, <laughs> please don't say that. Please don't say that." What? The don't say that. Thing? That's very. Not okay with me. This already barely makes sense. Hmm. So the wormhole thing made more sense than... No, but I, I'm, <laughs> I'm blindly loyal to my friends, I guess, so I'm here. Oh, my heart, like, triples in size. I'm so full of warmth and love. Are you Grinch? Yes. <laughs> you fucking Grinch. <laughs> Trevor asks, can I sense anything living nearby with mental prowess? Good question. Ooh. Give me a d20 magic check, please. My stats, one sec. He's got to look at his stats, one sec. Yeah, I, I heard that. I... <laughs> 29. You feel nothing living coming at you from the side that you're hearing like a boulderish sound, but the way to the right, you are feeling life sparks around the corner. You're not quite sure I'll how tell far. That too. Okay, you tell this to the rest of the party, and Undyne's like, cool. Friendlies? I don't fucking know. Okay. Jeez. What's wrong with you? You sick? God. Okay. I'll hack out blood onto the no. floor. No! Cloud has <laughs> consumption! You should cast heal. Mm. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Oh, Organic sugar. Oh, I laughed so hard I got dizzy. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I'm a mess, guys. Okay. Oh, it's really good. Super Tuesday. You really taste the wheat. Which way would you guys would you guys like to go? Pyra, what do you think? <laughs> Part of me wants to go investigate the boulder. The boulder. The boulder. <laughs> But if everyone else wants to go the opposite direction, then uh, she'll just follow along. We have one vote for right, one vote for left. I would like to go where there's sparks of life, because if there's anyone living that knows anything about the place, we can gleam information from them. One vote for right. Mm, no, there's not going to be anybody living in here, but all right. I mean, that's not an obstacle. Vote cool. Crap. You guys start heading to the right, and Undyne and Hammer are like, okay, I guess we're following. God, what the hell? You guys start going to the right. Right, dishes. And I feel, like your, I feel like your player characters are they're very passive aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> As you guys reach the end of the right hall, it naturally bends to the left. 
Yes. And just around the corner, you are seeing quite a few dribbles of water coming from the ceiling. And as you look up, there is for sure a crack in the ceiling. And as you keep walking, you're just like, whatever, it's water, it's a crack, whatever. It suddenly opens. Like, not opens like a mouth, but suddenly collapses in on itself. No. And there's significant rubble that starts falling to the ground. And you're like, oh crap, oh crap, and start backing up. And then suddenly that few, those few trickles of water now become like a gush of water that start filling up the corridor. But then before you even react, like, maybe I should freeze it. Maybe I should mental prowess. Maybe I should run. The rubble up above reseals. To keep the corridor not from filling up. Mm-hmm. And then Undyne points out that smelled like seawater. Mm. Are we under the sea? Under the sea. <laughs> under the sea. <laughs> Darling, it's okay. <laughs> I literally had the exact same thought when you said that. It's a good thing we need to REI and got that thing that turns uh, all that. T squared, come back. Fresh water. T-square. <laughs> Come back. Anyway, you guys see this happen, and you're wondering what on earth it could mean before suddenly you are hearing somebody moaning and then screaming, oh, okay. and then it's silent. Yikes. Dead straight down the hall, and you can't really see any, like, out pouches from this hallway, but it's like a dead straight shot for, like, a hundred yards. Must have been a really good orgasm. Yeah, I was going to ask, is that like sex? Or it's probably a mermaid having an orgasm in the sea above scary. you, yeah. Oh. Having an orgasm under the <laughs> sea. <laughs> it's actually a poor lubricant. <clears throat> Seawater? <laughs> That's too salty. Water in general. Water in genital? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Water in, in genital. <laughs> Me Tarzan. Me <laughs> Tarzan. <laughs> You screamed and died. <laughs> um, so how did yard straight shot pass all the rubble and water? Yeah. <laughs> Dennis, interrupt us. Sorry. <laughs> what? Mm. what? Sorry. Hammer's like, I'm gonna go investigate the scream. Yeah, I kind I'm, I'm kind of with you. I was just wondering if it was. Because it seems like a trap, like something happens. Well, I'm like check for traps. I'm apparently inside of a labyrinth that makes no logical sense. So 14. I may as well investigate a crying woman. Fourteen. There's no traps that you can sense, foresee, look at, admire. Oh, I don't want to admire traps. And Hammer takes lead, and she proceeds down the hallway. All right, I'm following her. I'm totally cool with that. I'm gonna follow her. <laughs> You proceed onward, and Undyne's like, I'll take up the rear. I love it there. <laughs> and then you guys see that suddenly there is an opening in the left side of the hall that looks unnatural. It looks like, like a giant boulder had like come through and like bashed a hole through the wall. And through it is quite dark. And from up above, there is kind of a natural candlelight effect happening, and you can barely see what's directly in front of you as a result. But you see a body getting, like, devoured by something, by something humanoid. And above this scene, you can see another sort of cave-in situation. But through the cave-in, you see the remnants of, like, a cabin. Hmm. A rustic cabin? Yes. Is it dark in here? Yes. <laughs> mage light? You ignite a mage light. And instantly you see a very furry, long-limbed, humanoid shape devouring the chest of a woman. Not in a hot way. And you see that, that sure enough, they fell through what what looks like the foundation of a cabin from up above. And upon this, the mage light, the creature removes itself from her and like sort of twitches its head back towards you. In a kind of like an owl situation where its Ugh. back is still to you, but its <clears throat> neck spins back oh, to see you. Holy nasty. fuck, I'm killing it with so much fire. What? <laughs> you don't even have fire! I'm summoning fire. What did you say, Trevor? My thunder. Zap. <laughs> Zap. Pyre, what are you doing? <laughs> Zap. <laughs> That's funny. 
So are there two immediate I... zaps while I run in, or what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what the hell? I'll shoot it with a zap too. Alrighty. Fucking sweet. I am just I charging straight. I'm not actually. I'm together. not using the ability to charge. I'm not using smite, but I am. I do have my sword summoned and my fairy summoned because I have the MP4 already. But I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna run in and hit it. Slibbity slap. Seventeen. Wow. Mm. Do I still only have four MP? You guys have not rested since Nine. the regicide. Hmm. Wow. So nine plus nine is eighteen. Slap. Okay. Jenny. My butt cheeks are clenched. What are your guys' collective zap damage? Fourteen for me. Fifteen for me. Fifteen? What the fuck? Twenty. Yeah, fuck. Magic 14 plus 1 is 15. You suck. <laughs> Your magic's gonna be better than mine. I'm I don't know. Impale it with my sword. What does it look like other than humanoid? It looks like a mixture between a werewolf and a gorilla. Maybe just a That's gross. Alright, well, I'm gonna impale it with my sword. With an 18. Oh my gosh. Plus all the things. So, yeah. Is that a crit? That's a 11. Damn. No, it's not a crit. One at my base, magic is only 10. This is pick and move at the top of my sheet. That's interesting. Oh, I, I think because you leveled up at some point, you still needed to pick a move, but I think that happened a while ago. I think so, too. So, 18, for what's your damage? Um, yeah, that's a good question. Sorry. That's all right. I just have a cheat thing up there, and I erased it. I'll have to figure that out later. Um, okay, that's a good question. Let's do this first. It's 14. The boss. It's 24. 24. It screams after all of the volleys of attacks, and then Undyne's like, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! And she kills it. Not really, but she does a lot of damage. And then... Hammer helpfully says, That's a Rougarou! A Rougarou? Oh, and she... Nope. She... She... She deals 16 damage. Oh, I put it where it belongs. I'm so sorry. Dumb as fuck. Do you guys have a bird? No, it was echoing me. Oh. What is it? Sorry, never mind. <laughs> you almost had a bird. <laughs> oh my gosh, it rolled horribly. Good. Because we're fucking it up. You are dealt nine. You were dealt nine. And then Hammer was dealt nine. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Undyne was dealt uh, nine. This is um, all claw damage, by the way. It summons a middle claw from its, from its stomach. Ew, what? Really? Yes. So um, nine? How about six? Huh. Alright. Mages. <coughs> Didn't we already take our turns with the zap? What? Did they already take their turns with the zaps? Uh, this is a new phase. <laughs> do you both zap again? I do. No, I'm gonna cast... Fire. I'm gonna cast yeah. I'm sorry, you cast what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you make new rolls. <laughs> I'm H. Cast. All right. I'm, I'm gonna stop you from rolling damage because as soon as you cast fire from the inside of its chest it explodes and, di and dies and its limbs fall apart and like it disintegrates to the ground yeah I think fire is really effective I mean I don't know what gave you that idea but uh I'll do it again 
Yeah. It right. is dead. Everyone take 150 XP. Woo! Oh, we what? Didn't this we didn't think this through. One sec. <laughs> you have to what? <laughs> they have to poop. We didn't get a notebook or anything to write stuff down, so we need to grab one. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Taylor, that was beautiful. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Thank you. I examined the woman corpse. She is definitely dead, but just recently dead. She is still dripping down blood. It is fresh and dark. Um, she is wearing peasant garb, like a typical white and dark brown uh, dress-ish thing. And she has two gold pieces on her. Do I recognize her at all? No. Sure. I don't even bother with the gold. I'm just sad. Uh, what's what's the rest of the room look like? Because you said this, that it was like an opening in the wall that looked unnatural, yes. and then it was just like a little alcove. Yes. So good, good question. So if you're actually taking a moment to actually look around you, the first thought that you get is like, it's like, it's like an idea of a room. It's like not this complete intentionally paved thing that was like architecturally built with sound. It was like pixels are missing. Yes. Inception. Yeah. But it's not like there's really literally weird. static or something. It's more like just a dark hole into nothingness. Dark, dark misty. In order to spots. catch this happening of somebody okay. falling through their home into the labyrinth. Okay. Okay. I got it. One fifty. One fifty XP. Yes. Just for shits, I'm gonna attack the darkness. Okay. Like, where, there, where there is no more room anymore. Darkness. Like the room ends. No parents. Give me a d20. Fifteen plus seven will twenty-two. You know that you have hit something, though it phases right through. But you're just like, man, what damage did I cause to this nothingness? I feel like I'm attacking this philosophical concept, and it doesn't talk back to you. I ask the wall. Take negative five XP. <laughs> I'm oh, kidding. he's really mad. Now. I'm kidding. Tis nobler <laughs> to suffer <laughs> things. Tis happen. nobler of the knighted minds to attack I the darkness therein. Fortune. Therein. What does everybody do? Oh, Hammer goes up to the corpse and closes her eyes. Oh, that's a very Hammer thing to do. She should put the two gold pieces on her on her eyes. She does look up and say, do you think that we should go up that way? I don't. I think that there's actually some significance with, like, uh, like septums on the eyes. So I'm, I'm just going to do it for shits. She sees you do that and she's like, what are you doing? She was blinded by greed. Like, really, really serious. Oh. In a really serious song of it. She was blinded by greed. They know that you have a foresightic, foresitic. Foresitic? Foreskin okay. ability. So, they hear that and they're just like, okay, maybe he's able to, like, read people really well. So, oh. Alright, sure. That's deep. Just go with it, man. Agate says, <laughs> sarcastically. That's like, I just came without smiling. Yeah. Let's move on. I, I I just I just forgot like like what mm -hmm. era in history like the gold coins on eyes was. Medieval, I think. But no, I think yeah. you are correct. It's for You're, the riverboat it's, guy. It was for a long time. Gold coins on eyes was ancient Greece. That was to pay off Charon. Oh, to pay off Charon. You are correct. Tommy is wrong. Tommy is dumb shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> Tommy is Wong. 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 Tommy Wong. <laughs> Tommy Wong. <laughs> All right. Um, you guys make it out back to the hallway, and now have the rest of this hundred yard dash. Yeah. Uh, Hammer was questioning about something up. Uh, was she referring to the rubble that collapsed and then rebuilt itself? Look, it's just my boobs sitting or, there. Uh, yeah, your basuma. <laughs> or, or was she talking about the wooden rails? <laughs> she was talking about the opening in the cabin that you can see up, up above. Oh fuck, dude! God damn it! I'm so bad at this game. All of a sudden, are they gone? 
No, they're turning off the yeah. visual to see if the audio helps. Yeah. Or the audio it's, gets helped. They're fucking that way. vomiting on their bed and shit. It's disgusting. While making out. It's actually yeah. really cool. No. It's, yeah. like, it's like two girls one cup only without God food. damn it, I just forgot that existed again. Thanks. <laughs> it's like the game. <laughs> Question. Right. You're not bad at this game. No, I just forgot oh. the, the cabin. Yeah, what's the question, man? Sorry, I just couldn't tell if it was actually working. Um, when you say cabin above, like, what do you mean? I'm having trouble imagining where this person fell from. I want you to imagine that somebody was just chilling in their cabin, enjoying their porridge, and then something... Like something their own home? What? Like their own home? Yes. Gotcha. And they just, for some reason or another, fell through the foundation of their home and ended up here. Oh, that's terrifying. Was there a way that we can get up there easily? Not really. How high up is it? It is several meters. Like, you can't, like, just reach yeah, up and, like, yeah, grab yeah. the lip. It's like, you would have to stack. So she fell and fucking, like, really yes. badly hurt herself. Can we stack on top of each other? Okay, um... The ladder? What, Taylor? I said, can we stack on top of each other like a ladder? <laughs> you can play Jenga, yes. If you really want to. I used mental prowess to lift Angoramir up towards the roof or the ceiling. Give me a d20 to see if you can lift a horse. I'm 700 pounds. Lift someone else. Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> I created a walkway with rubble. <laughs> Not with that roll, though. Uh, 23. You can tell that you, like, you can... But you don't really want to because you have a goal in mind already. So you're just like, okay. I have one. What? Uh, I lost you after I have. You have a goal in mind already with like finding Daedalus. So like you can, you're relatively sure that if you really try, you could get people up there eventually or like create a path somehow. But you're not, your heart's not in it. Okay. I'm going to tell the party and Hammer, more importantly, that I think the cabin is rather inconsequential. We should keep going elsewhere. I think so. I think it's just... It's not worth the effort. If it was lower, um, we could peek our head through and like check it out, but... World building. It is kind of terrifying that we could just fall into this place. Oh, but I want to keep going. We but just we did. But just back there... It's not like the ocean. And then just a little bit forward, we're seeing it now the bottom of a cabin. That doesn't really make sense. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob Square SquarePants! <laughs> I don't get it. Let's just find Daedalus and go. Yeah, let's. This is terrifying. And really frustrating, actually. I like it. We haven't even gone far. Oh, that's good. As you guys reach... Let's go down the 100-yard hallway. As you guys reconvene in the hallway and start saying, yeah, let's do blah, 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 yeah, let's do blah, 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 you start making your way back down or towards the area that you have not ventured towards before. And then as you're about, I'm going to say, 40 to 50 yards onward... You suddenly hear a, the boulder sound again, redoubled in noise, and then there's this big crash. And you all turn around and you see, it sure enough is a very round boulder. Oh. And you're looking closer at it, and it's now, like, shifting. And now starts turning and wheeling towards you guys. I so thought that when you said it started shifting, that it was going to have, like, a fucking face on it or something. Be like, hey, <laughs> what's going on, guys? <laughs> Welcome to the labyrinth. <laughs> <laughs> you, would you guys like to tour? I'm your tour guide, Goalie. <laughs> Golem. Go I got it. It was just really okay. <laughs> um, I thought it was going to be transformed like Optimus fucking Prime. Actually, yes. as you say that, as it gets a little bit closer, it goes up onto four little crab legs. Oh, God. <laughs> And gets this little pod-like helmet up out of the center. And it has, like, this stone scanner thing that has, like, an electrified... Maybe a screen, but you guys wouldn't see it as a screen. It'd be more... It's like a scanner. And 
it's detecting six lives in front of it and starts crawling towards you guys. Um, I attempt to chop its head off. I'm unhappy. You're unhappy? <laughs> Unhappy. Oh, I got a 19. Oh, you get there, and you attack it. Give me damage. Okay. Good luck. Rude. Not really. I'm just playing game 22. <laughs> uh, 22. I just like killing things. 22. I just want to kill something. <sighs> Man, the air just... Dude, you should cast Flash Gorgon on a turn to stone. I don't have no MP. I don't think I can even do that yet. I've only got 4 MP, bro. 22 damage. I could slam. 22, that was it. Um, well, she took off her cold I gear. Think, <laughs> I think it's an enemy. Well, I attacked it. So. Yeah, well, I mean, it's your enemy now. It's now the enemy. <laughs> Looks at her average life. Nothing. Okay, well, if it's up on, like, weird crab legs, right. I am going to specifically <laughs> attack one of its crab legs. Oh, I thought it wasn't an enemy. Well, you know, it probably is now. <laughs> uh, I use charge, and on my way, I cast smite. Super, it works. And then I do a call shot on one of its crab legs to try and sever it. Sever okay. this stone. Legs. Mage's question mark. Ah. Nineteen. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, unfortunately, that's that's not a uh, a crit because I don't have crit chance. But it hits with the smite, which is not a crit, so that's great. Um, and my smite is going to be eighteen plus eighteen. It's thirty six plus four for the charge is forty holy damage. Mages. A crab Lego. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> I am going to cast Ice Coffin on one of the legs. Are you just laughing because we're fighting like a stone crab golem? No, I'm laughing because Taylor has such a great sense of humor. <laughs> Ice Coffin a crab Lego. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. One. Three. Plus the Eighteen damage. Okay. You freeze. For two turns. Okay. And f fourteen for the zap. As you zap directly at the screen, it like fizzles and then spins and then reorients back to center. I'll, um, I'll use my mental prowess connection to the rest of the party to encourage them to also attack the Orby thingy that I hit. Okay. If they can. Okay. Undyne says, okay. Let me see. She got him up. And she crit. And hammer... Flash heals you to... Flash heals you. I'm gonna go to the bathroom, but I'll do it. Actually, she can do it twice. I completely forgot. Hope everything comes out okay. <laughs> Thank you. She flash heals both J's over here. Sick. Uh, you guys you guys both uh, heal for eight. Oh, sweet. Thank I'm you. I'm full. All right. The Lego Golem. <laughs> Crab Lego. Crab Lego leggy. Golem. One leggy boy. So his legs are really <laughs> effed up, right? I did 40 damage as, like, Ice Coffin. And... Tries to use a move called Air Blade. Air Blade. Yes. Wouldn't it be a rock blade? That doesn't sound really fun. No, because two small ports open in its, like, chest area just below its scanner. And two large jets of air just go shooting out. You had to ask. Several meters. I did. The visual man. I crave the visual. Jeff, Jenny, Pyra, Dionysia, and no, they're not. Everyone is dealt eleven damage. <laughs> is that like uh, just 
wind damage? Yes. 11 wind damage. Okay, so that's 10 for me. That's the wind sound. And then he tries to lift his ice-coffined leg, barely, and tries to stomp your foot with it. Oh, for fuck's sake. He tries to break the ice, but also try to do you damage. What's your defense? I'm going to cut that off. I have E12 defense. It misses you. Good. I took your face. Oh, his fairy. Were you so, pooping? Sh- <laughs> Man, if I was pooping, I would have been gone for way long. True. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> like I was actually puking out of my butt, and diarrheaing out of my mouth. The speakers. Why? <laughs> okay. <laughs> So are we attacking the orb, or should we attack the, the ice coffin leg for bonus numb damage? It is player based. It Whatever is. works for you. I just assumed that the orby thing was a weak spot. I just have like such a vendetta against this damn crab Lego right now. I'm trying to stop on me. Go to town, dude. Can I slam Kill it? Take a meal back with this. I just want to waste the rest of my AMP. It's your it's your move first, so you go. Okay, I slam. Yeah. Oh, I rolled a seven. It will hit. Plus fourteen. It will hit. That's why it hits. <laughs> I can find it because I put it where it belongs instead of over in this corner. Okay, cool. Shit. Slam. That Shall I, I gr- rolls the damage? <laughs> Trevor. That I missed. That I missed. But it shows my sanity. But I missed. Is damage only my constitution? Actually, I haven't, I haven't seen Slam get used in quite a while. How does Slam get used? Oh, uh, it says me, melee attack stuns one turn. Receives damage plus mm-hmm. constitution. Yeah, there you go. So your constitution score is added to the damage that you normally do on an attack. So okay. it's going to be like your regular attack plus constitution damage plus the stun effect. It's a good ability. Okay, it's like 11. What? Just eleven? Yeah, I don't really, I don't use my sword for that, right? Oh yeah, it is. you do. Oh. Oh yeah. It's like a basic attack plus the constitution damage. Y'all. <laughs> wow, that was actually really good. <laughs> that was twenty. Twenty two, sorry. Twenty two. Math. It's like you missed. Thirty three. Wasn't there something like with like a popsicle stick? It's like what a mist. If it been a popsicle, I would have passed out in the snow and then a mist. Stick stickly. Uh, mm. All right, so to not take forever on my turns anymore. Oh, you took that so seriously. I Here did. we go. I attack the crab Lego that's iced over, which I <laughs> believe will actually end the effect of the ice coffin. But I'm okay with that. I hate this fucking leg. And I'm not smiling again. 15 is a, a hit, I imagine. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. 18 plus 9 is 27. I slap his leg for 27 damage with my lightsaber hand. Hammer will heal Taylor and Trevor for 8 each. For what? She heals you for eight damage, so you heal it, heal Thank for eight. Thank you. Oh god, Undying critically misses, but has four ma- four uh, spears up. She's like, damn. Well, okay. spears, but a bit. Mages. I'm gonna zap. You kill it. <laughs> I'm zap. Yeah. For fifteen. Fine, maybe I want to. <laughs> you can zap at the same time, and then no one knows who wins. No, no. I'm. I'm. I, I retract no, no. my zap. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> right, so it dies. Yes. Everyone, take one hundred. Uh, sorry, two hundred XP. Two hundred. Two hundred. That's amazing. 200. That was weird. I proceed to slap the orb with my sword a few times to make sure. With your sword. That's dead. Okay. Slap, 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 slap. Okay, so dead. Cool. 
Is there uh, anything worth looking off of this weird stone crab? <laughs> not that you can really tell. Like, it's not like something... It wasn't, like, burst open so you can, like, get to its core or anything. Yeah. It's just, like, this animated stone boulder that yeah. had weapon functionality. It's weird. It had, like, a futuristic vibe. It was weird. Question. Question. Do I sense anything from it the way I sensed a bit of Daedalus in that one statue in the palace? Yes. Can I rip out whatever that something is with mental... Uh, give me a d20. Who's your daddy? Not you! Uh, 20... No, yeah, 22. You know that it is of a similar tenor of energy but you can't tell where that source is coming from inside of it because you cannot see it Dang therefore it. you're just like this is connected somehow probably the same maker or same technology at the very least but i i i don't know he doesn't know i heard hey What did everyone do? The direction that the boulder crab came from, I would like to go in its exact path where it came from. Okay, so you want to go back to where you started this session and then go left instead? I'm kind of thinking that. Um, well, so I imagine this, that was the boulder. That you are surmising that that was yeah. the sound of the boulder because we don't, it, we it don't hear it anymore, similar. or no. we're we too far away to even hear it. You don't hear it anymore. No. So I mean, we killed, we we did the thing. Would you like to go left, guys? Where we originally started, or, or keep going down this weird stretch? I like this weird stretch. Yeah. Yeah, this is the way that it was like fly Icarus, right? I don't, I don't trust the other way. Mm, this sounds like it might have something good at the end. Okay. okay Did yeah, it yeah. say fly Icarus in the right direction, or was it in between the arrows? So right when you first entered the labyrinth, right in front of you, there was the arrow pointing right, and above it, it said fly awesome. Icarus. Okay. All right. You guys proceed up down the hallway. You guys are able to see rather than be wrapped up into it, but just as you are about to reach the end of this long tunnel, there's a cave-in. Oh, just suddenly the wall comes crashing down on the right side, and you're kind of waiting to see if it like fixes itself again like it did with the water back there, but this time it doesn't, and you're like, well, shit. What now? Because you didn't see any other way to venture. But then as you're looking on there's a opening that manifests on your right side. Just as a nice archway, and then it's like a hallway is being created for you instantly. Because you're actually watching it unfold. Fuck it, I say we go down that. Yeah, I mean, I get the feeling that we're being led by someone, but it's no way around it, really. <laughs> someone malevolent? Or... <laughs> Dallas is just like, fuck it with us. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's still progress. Yeah, we can do that. Why not? You guys make your way down, and there is a there's a sharp feeling in your lungs as you're making your way through, and it, it occurs to you that as you're going through this hallway, not right understanding that this like quite possibly didn't exist a second ago, you're realizing that the, the sharpness in your lungs is that there was suddenly this hallway that did not have air inside of it. Therefore, like, you're kind of ahead of the curve of, like, air refilling this hall. So you're like, okay, this is genuinely strange that it's like the world around you is manifesting at a thought. So, anyway, you make your way through this hall, and it, it neatly guides you back, like, on, on track, and you're back in the very large corridor that's nice and curved, and even above you, you see the wooden beams continuing on. But then you have a problem, because there is a fork in the road, and you're, you're in this giant chamber, this large round chamber, and there is a path left, right, 
and middle. And directly above, directly in front of you, down the very center path, there is a leopard just sitting there. Sitting there watching all of you and flicking its tail. I say hello. It flicks its tail. I say hello, hello. It flicks, flicks. <laughs> leopard. A leopard. That's pretty. I'm going to say hi. It shifts its head almost like a like a pointed come here. I tell it it's pretty. It purrs. Aww. I ask if it understands me. It opens its mouth and sort of like I think it does. One way communication maybe. It turns its body entirely around so you're seeing its tail. It keeps its tail down so you're not staring at awkward leopard butthole. And just charges down the corridor. Oh, well, I was gonna follow it, but I mean, it's charging. Charging? No, not towards you, but away. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it's charging like. Like running straight down. Yeah. Like I'm Into not as darkness. fast as it. No. Into darkness. Okay. I say we go that way. Do we trust the leopard? Why not? Just a kitty. I like it. It's pretty. I want everyone to give me a true check, please. One. <laughs> I got a 13. 14. 17. Wow. Ooh. Okay, so Dionysia specifically thinks back to a memory of being on the coast of Olympia, meeting a horse that seemed to understand who you guys were. Oh, yeah. Wow. I remember. Same feeling. Same feeling. In fact, you are so mentally prone to read people that I would I'll go even as far as to say it's not the same animal, but it may like if it was a person, it'd be like a person wearing a different disguise. So it's a similar feeling from from this animal is what I'm saying. Yeah, definitely follow it. Yeah. Yes. You guys make your way down this path, and it is dark in here. Undyne will use her four spears to like create rows above you guys, so like it's like traffic lights, kind <laughs> of, and trying to guide your way forward with uh, with light. And just past her spears, you will see that there are continuing beams of wood. I want you all to give me an intuition roll, please. Intuition. Uh, 11. 10. Do I add anything to that? No. no. Add your intuition. 11. 19. Ugh. We both got 11s. It's so cute. <laughs> and Goromir, as you are walking on, you see another code in the darkness on the wall. Ooh. Code. Pyra with your intuition you look up there and it occurs to you because no one's blatantly said this to you so I'm going to say it for the sake of the story but also for mythology etc that the words fly Icarus the fact that you access the labyrinth through wings the fact that Icarus you've been told was Daedalus' son etc etc you're imagining that not only are those beams a guide but Icarus was meant to use them as a perch to literally fly from one dock to another through the yeah. labyrinth. Do you share this with your party? Yeah. Pyre's like, no. <laughs> I, withhold, I withhold information for funsies. <laughs> Too bad I can read your mind. It says, does that make sense? Question mark, question mark, question mark. So very quickly, Angoramir is able to see the message on the on the wall next to you guys as you're as you're walking. And you guys are just trying to make your way through the darkness. You're not really looking at the walls necessarily, so Angoramir is the only one that really sees it. But there is a scroll, handwritten, kind of frantically actually, written in the same Daedalus code that translates to 
Does that make sense? <laughs> no. I verbally say no. No. Your voice <laughs> echoes down the corridor, and your party look back at you, and you're like, what? That's when I put out the message. You all see the message. Give me another intuition roll. 17. You. 11. 18. Agate and Pyra um, both can tell because, you know, you're ladylike, and so you're really into calligraphy, I guess. You're able to tell that this was likely written by Daedalus' hand as well. So not only is it his code, but it was likely also written by him. Maybe I knew him. In my many moons. Well, you guys also found the book where he wrote something in the pages. Oh, I like That's the, why I'm... I like the book. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys keep going? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And Goromir, you will hear something in the back of your mind as if like some, there's a whisper behind you. Okay. It is distinctly male. Okay. And the voice says to you, answer the questions for the fastest journey. I, I did. And there is silence if you try to respond to it. Yeah. But then when you get to the end of this hallway, it starts to brighten up. And you're in kind of like a cathedral style type of area. There's like stained glass up above now. And there is once again two paths, more of the shape of a V um, on either side of this round room. And you can see distinctly on the left path, there is another Sphinx. Not the same one that you guys ran into in Keone's castle, but there's another Sphinx with darker skin and darker fur that smiles at you as you come closer. And there's an empty hallway on the right. Sphinx. Um, I approach the Sphinx and say, are you the one that's going to give me questions that need answering? Do you have questions that need answering? No, I was told that I need to answer questions for a fast journey, and I'm hoping Patience. that you can provide me with the questions. That depends. Um, what is your destination? Um, mm, Daedalus. He is just behind me. Not literally, you fool. I'm sorry, I only I only deal in absolutes. Only a Seth only deals a Seth. in absolutes. <laughs> I will do it, I must. Yeah. She says, answer my question. Perhaps both of them. I will let you through. Okay. Answer both, and I will give you a gift. Wait, you said answer both of them, I'll let you through. Answer both, I'll give you a gift? Yes. So you like repeating things, okay. I agree. <laughs> she says aloud for everyone to hear. Mm. What, what can bring the, back the dead, make us cry, Make us laugh, make us young, born in an instant, yet lasts a lifetime. Memory. Memory. As two of you say memory, her eyes go wide and say, memory. Memory. On that note, I believe I'm meant to be somewhere else right now. What about our second question? And without really even acknowledging <laughs> the second question, she just turns and leaves down the hallway. Bye. It's very peculiar. Like, she like suddenly remembered an appointment that she had to keep for her dentist. And she <laughs> lets you through. I wave bye. Did we get double bonus points for both of us answering? So, so easily. because Since you guys got it like that, I'm going to say Trevor and Jeff, you're both going to get 200 XP for that. Congratulations. Yay. So are you cut out how many? Uh, one million. Oh, sweet. I'm level 20. 200. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> level 20 is not even... Oh. Level 20 doesn't even exist in Jeff's game. 
15 is the maximum level. <laughs> Do you guys go down the pathway in which she stood? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Does the party react to the fact that uh, Angoramir said what he said about needing to answer questions to go down the quicker path? Uh, Big brain time. It sounds like something he'd do. I come from a faraway land. That's what I, guess I don't that's... question what he says. He says things. <laughs> I don't know. I'm listen. I'm just excited to be here. It's like Disneyland for my Agatha. She was blinded by greed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I must go down that path. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is that a um, is it a pathway like an arch or is it a doorway? Like, is it sealed at all? It is a doorway. Mm. I attempt to just open it freely. Just walk over and go. Okay. It opens. Good. I smile and I I thank the Sphinx. Like out loud, even though she's not within my vicinity. As you, nothing makes sense here, so I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> As you open the door, it creaks loudly. And you are filled with this scent of must and sweat and... The barnyard? It's kind of like home. And you proceed onward, just like, oh man, maybe I've gone home! Yeah. And suddenly you see a body, like, right in front of you. You're like, oh shit. <laughs> Well, if it's sweaty and, it's, and musty, it's got to be Poe. And it's a well, well, and it's a well armored corpse, filled, uh, covered with uh, ornamental armor that's like dented and bashed the hell up. And the person's obviously, obviously dead. And he has this beautiful sword in his right hand, and he has this ball of something right by his head that looks like it rolled out of his hand as he died. But just beyond that, you're just like, oh no, a corpse. But the, your attention is drawn up suddenly because you hear a snorting. Snorting. Uh-oh. Snorting. And you look up Wait, and your eyes... Ha- your eyes snoring? Snorting. And your eyes keep journeying up. And up. As you're looking at this giant creature mm. that's like a man bull. Oh, yeah. Like a man bull pig. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. What do you all do? First off, I have questions. The armor... <laughs> <laughs> questions I need answering. Oh. Uh, the armor, do I recognize it? No. Like, no insignia or make anything? No. All right. Uh, super dead dude's obviously dead. Super awesome sword, that's for a later time. The ball of something. The ball of what? The ball of yarn? You can't tell from that quick. You're just like, oh, look, a ball of glowing something. Is we'll there other out. things in the room? Is it a big room or is it a hallway? There Can are chains around? in here that look like they have been shattered and broken. No. Um, uh, there are what looks like scorch marks, and that's all you can really make out before having to decide what to do. Pretty much closed off room? Yes. Small? Yes. Or no, it's it's large. It's big enough to house this towering thing, which is about 15 feet tall. The Minotaur's 15 feet? Yes. Ooh. And the ceiling is about 30. Okay. Uh, what does the Minotaur have on him, her thing? Fur? Muscles and horns. Any weaponry? And hooves. Any weaponry? Nope. Um, any armor? No. Ooh, and hair. The, <laughs> fur and hair. Mm-hmm. Um, I greet it. Oh, God, no. It snorts loudly, which then ascends into a crescendo-ish roar. A maelstrom. I heard a story once about how this was made. Don't ask. That's all I'm saying. Okay. It's actually Cersei's sister that gave birth to this thing. Yeah. She was a piece of work. Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. remember her name. I don't remember either, but anyway. Wow. But her husband's name was Minos, so that's where the Mino comes and from. And you guys killed Minos. Oh, Minos, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. We did. Yeah. It doesn't know. Oops. Do I know if it knows? What do you all want to do? Well, this guy's a bitch. Obviously, he's gonna die. So. Can I get a read on him? Mental prowess. Go for it. Oh fuck. <laughs> uh, thirty-one. You know quite well that it is not a sentient 
humanoid with like intelligent thought. It's mostly like kill, eat, poop. <laughs> Does there go to mirror, it's on your level. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what do you mean by that? Agate says, oh. I, 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 I don't know the context. What do you mean by that? If I explain the joke, it won't be funny. Um, kill it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, awesome. We should kill it. Who's got I immediately respond by kill, eat, poop. <laughs> I'm going to say that it charges. Oh, fuck. Oh, well, I charge it charges back. as you guys are joking and jabbering at each other, and Hammer's like, guys, guys, oh. guys. It this charges. is how we win our fights. It head down, it's, it like kicks it back twice, and then just keeps I am, going. I'm going, I'm whoa, 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 whoa. getting so in the way of this. <laughs> and as it's charging towards you, its horns hit the opposite, hits the wall just above you, because all of you manage to jump out of the way. Ah. But now it's like right on top of you guys. Yeah? 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 Well, if it's like over us, I'm just going to go. Right, uh, with my sword, me okay. too. Initiative. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, well, yeah. I'm gonna thrust my sword up and attempt to stab it. Okay, well, thrust up then. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking thrust up. Yeah. 20! Oh, wow. Yeah. Crit damage. Fuck yeah! It's. Fuck yeah! Do I still have it right now? We're here. You should 100% combo heroic strike after this. You would do so Bro, I've got damage. zero MP. Do Thank it anyway. No. Drink a potion. <laughs> We can't. We only have one HP one. Okay. Anywho, um, yeah, I was not even going to suggest that we rest because. Yeah, it's a labyrinth. Sorry. We would just fall through <laughs> through the floor. Give me a cutting check when you have a chance. That's uh. You give me a cutting check too. Fuck. Eighteen. Ha! My one and only good cutting roll this you, whole campaign. That was forty-four damage. Forty-four. Wow. Woo! And Gormir. You witness, and you're bewildered as you see it, but as your friend crits the thigh, I'm going to say, of the Minotaur, you are drawn to a glowing blue something by her foot, and there's a small hole in the ground that opens up, and a blue bottle arrives up onto the, onto the ground, and the hole closes. So the blue bottle is just sitting there on the ground? I use my minor action to go, hey, <laughs> check check out the floor right underneath you. Wipes off my sword and bowl of blood. Um, yeah, I'm going to pick that up. Minor action is going to be pick up. Are you going to combo this turn? I can't have no MP. Oh, that's right. So this is where your turn ends. It looks quite remarkably like an MP potion. <gasps> Yo, I need. Um, <laughs> Do you have room on your belt? Is, uh, could I is get this like, your major action? <laughs> no. Does anybody have room on their but belt? For the record, it would be funny because I'm gonna be like, "Yo, I wish Daenerys was here right now." No. Oh. <laughs> Start you... taking a bath in Essos. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have room on your belt? Uh, I I actually have two open belt slots right now. And you should take this. I don't. Uh, the the potion. Yeah. If you're intending on drinking, you could just you could just hold it. Until you drink it. But that's an entire turn. No, it's a minor action for next turn. Yeah. yeah. But, okay. I'll keep if you, holding if you it. want to. No, yeah. I'll keep holding it. Okay. Yeah. I'm I feel like there. you should really have that. Okay. Because okay. I can see some good heroic strikes in the future. <laughs> and what did you ask me? You asked me for something. Kind of check, but yeah. it's, it's a moot point now because he told you about the potion. Uh, so, so my minor action was informing uh, her of that, and then I will... Uh, cast smite success and then attack the abdomen area. Okay. With, oh, 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 oh. I rolled a three. So a three plus seven is only ten and I'm hoping it's That is a in miss. A prone status. It's bonus. a it's a miss in the sense that it will deflect off of its heart yeah. its thick hide. Okay, cool. I still, I still got a smite bonus though on there, so that's good. Mages. Well first. I wanna cast fire. It has a tail, right? It does. It's a very small one. It's kinda cute. I'm gonna try to catch it on fire. Rolls on fire. Uh, one. That's a mana burn. <laughs> Any minor action. 
should burn the, the MP and it doesn't cast. Ganging. No. Go. Trevor. And the moons are So this thing's all up in all of our grills, right? Yep. Alright, I'm going to cast Arcane Shield on myself. Cool. As a minor action. Okay. So I need to go. Keeping track of my MP. Down to... That staff that I have is now an Arcane Staff, right? Yes. So now my Arcane spells cost one less. Yep. And because of that other thing, it actually cost me six MP. So no, 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 no. All right. So now I've got four charges of arcane magic around me. If I get hit in melee, that person takes two d6 plus magic damage. Yep. Um. And I'm actually just going to use my major action to get away from this thing's melee range and get to a different spot in the room where I'm not right up in its face. Hammer misses her attack. Undyne hits with her spears. It is enemy phase. Um, Agate, you are the creme de la creme of damage, as well as Agate, as well as um, Undyne. You are hit. What? For <laughs> you are hit for this. What? Not the right dice. Just to say. Oh my god! You're hit for fourteen. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> what? Shut your own. And Undyne is hit for 23. As player phase, it will whip around. It's, uh, as it's minor action, it will whip around and actually try to put its back to the wall so it can see all of you. Oh, jeez. It's cornering itself. Interesting. Yes. Player phase, I get your turn. Mm, I drink the SMP potion in my hand. Yeah. You do so. Go. It is a standard MP potion. 3d6 plus 8. <laughs> 16. Stop it! Let me do my math! We're not in school anymore! Take help! <laughs> you will always have a calculator in your pocket. Well, oh. Literally always has a calculator in your pocket. Yeah. Um... So yeah, can I like do a major action still? I'm gonna go to use all the account. Okay, yeah. Yes. Can I reach it? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna rope its rank it. Why? <laughs> twenty Oh my god. <laughs> rogue strike twenty? Crit on crit. Wow. What is her what is rogue strike damage? Fifty two. Fifty two. Sick. You combo. Yes. I heard stuck it again. You can't. I hit it with my sword regular life. Right. <laughs> 15 plus 14. 19. And Goromir. Yes. How's it looking? Alright. It's pretty pissed. Yeah. And it's about to get more pissed because I still have smite cast on the sword and I attack it like uh, 14 plus 7 is 21 successful yeah yeah that, yeah. so it's 36 holy damage my battery's right well oh I didn't plug it in ah. uh, I should do that immediately where is that I, I, I got it you sure yeah Mages. Uh, just thought you wanted help. Thought you wanted to know. Oh, did you not have your turn right? What? 
It's hard. So this is oh. actually a. I thought you were telling me to like look at my phone. No, it's on you. Go for it. Uh, I'm gonna try to cast fire again. Okay. Four. <laughs> it barely casts. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <I need dark. laughs> Twenty damage. Yep. You dealt fifteen. Oh my god. Okay. It was a turf that tickled. Okay. Whatever. Uh, I guess I'll cast regen on uh, Agate. Oh. What? Me? It's what? Me? It's almost In the smart alley, it would have been fine. Also, probably, Taylor hadn't moved. Uh-oh. Um, so that's, uh, 14 HP right now, and then twice more. Thank you. I don't know if I have anything to cast as a minor in one sec. Oh my god. You're a peach, old friend. I'll, uh, I'll flash heal, um, fucking Undyne as okay. well. Also cast, so Undyne heals four. Three plus half magic, uh, the Undyne. How much? Ten. Okay. She's almost back up to four. Actually, no, she's not, but she's doing better. I feel like when I played Agatel, the voice for Undyne shifted my initial impression I got from her. Really? Yeah. Mine? My voice of her? No. Because I heard your voice of, of Undyne before I played Undertale. Right. Right. So when I read her dialogue in the game, I was like... Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> yeah. And then I, I read I read Papyrus's voice like Skeletor, <laughs> which is really good. <laughs> Perfect. All right, um, Undyne fizzled her cast, oh. and Hammer missed. Oh my god, not yeah. good. Uh, you guys are gonna hate me, but here we go. He's going to hammer strike. Hammer! Okay, you are dealt 17 damage. Oh my god! Hammer is dealt 13. Sorry, no, Undyne is dealt 13. Wow. Uh. And. Pyra. Is it, it's, it's a targeted Pyra? You're in its mouth. <gasps> no! Wait, uh, was it targeted Pyra? Uh, yes. Um, I would like to use taunt. Do you like to use an ability that you don't have? I have taunt. I've been saying. You got a last bullet. Okay. So I'm in its mouth. That's you are. Me, yes. You're um, below your man abdomen, your mandomen, and the top of the horse chest is in its mouth. That junction. Okay. Mm. And you are literally up, like raised up, like Josh Groban. You raise me up. Can it lift me with its mouth? Yes. Being so heavy. Yes. Damn. I wonder how, this, how much this guy can bench. It's ripped for days. That's all, it, that's all it's got time to do. Does really. It rip itself up. It is player phase. I get your turn. Well, fuck. How do I attack it without hurting you? Just don't attack its head. Attack its hair. <sighs> Shit. 
Shave, mm. shave it. Just... Maybe we should attempt to castrate it. What do you think? Look at you guys have balls. <laughs> attack balls a lot. It's very Greek mythology. <laughs> Without balls, we wouldn't have Venus. Greek mythology equals balls. Balls. I wish to um, just shove my sword into its belly area. Balls. Nine plus fourteen. It hits. Excellent. Uh, uh, uh. The stomach turns to balls. The Minotaur's stomach just grows balls. Yeah. Ew, 27. <laughs> okay. Okay. Its belly button just fills with scrotum skin. And then out pouches balls. A bunch of smegma just shoots out. <laughs> Can you stop it? <laughs> How mad is Trevor? Anyway, go on. Does he not like the word smegma? He hates the word smegma. Uh, it's disgusting. I don't like it either. I mean, it's just smegma. <laughs> right, not a big deal. I have it all the time. Yeah, smegma. Not really. I'm kidding. Listener, don't don't look at me like that. Anyway, Jenny, do you have a follow-up? <laughs> no. And Gora, your constitution check. I, um... Can I do my healing thing again? Five plus two for a total of seven. You feel bones getting crushed and broken. Ah... Uh... <laughs> You take another eight damage. Oh, ow. Uh, does my damage reduction save this at all? No, this is true. Ugh. Um, you are able to have one singular action from this. Uh, it raised him up. What kind of what kind of what kind of action? Like a, ma- like a major action? I mean, am I able to like swing my sword in his face or something? You may try. Oh God. Um. I'm, I'm just going to do it without casting Smite. Because I have a feeling that's going to be an awkward spell cast. <laughs> I, I just thought of a minor action, but... Ah, I attack his face. 14 Ooh, plus 7 is 21. That hits. Two, 3... 9 plus 9 is 18. 18. Alright, Pyra. You see the horse that saved your life being bitten through in the Minotaur's mouth, and you're just like, I should go. I'm going to zap the under... I I can't... I I couldn't hear a word you said. Really? Yeah. (laughs) You guys fucking muted us, didn't you? (laughs) No, we can hear you. Can you hear me right now? No. Okay. What I said was... I was for a second, but everybody looked all smart alecky, so I thought you... You see your friend Angoramir getting bitten through by a minotaur, and you know that he probably saved your life, and you're like, oh god, I should go. <laughs> <laughs> Message you that that you want to leave me or something? I'm quoting I was, Commander Shepard. Yeah, I know, but I, 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 thought, I thought you were Commander Shepherding because she told you that she wanted to go. No, I was gonna be like that bitch. Uh, <laughs> hey, Tommy, I'm actually gonna like initiate my actually core tendencies to just leave my friends. So <laughs> starting now. Yep. Bye. <laughs> Um, Did he say you see Pyra just ditch? Pyra doesn't have. Uh, uh, oh, that's right. Fire. There's no friendly fire. Okay. Keep fireball um, his head. <laughs> <laughs> right I'm on. like, yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna try to fireball the head. Let's see. I always forget there's no friendly fire. Four. <laughs> It casts. Yep. Three D four. Okay. Plus magic. Yeah. Oop. Two. And yeah, what's we'll the payback? Ten, fifteen, twenty-five burning. Twenty-five burning. Fantastic. 
Hold on. Hold on. My computer's going super slow. Trevor's butt. You oh. are. <laughs> That's not butt. Sorry, I thought it was. <laughs> Trevor's butt shoulder. <laughs> you deal nine. You deal nineteen burning damage. Oh, that's right. He's partially resistant to fire. Oh. How, when did we learn that? When you hit it with the fire spell last time, and it only took fifteen out of twenty. Oh. I thought that was just because I had I had cast a four. Well, damn. But it will take the fifteen from last turn right now. Okay. The burning damage from last turn just went through as well. That's what he said. I am saying words. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're getting like two thirds and we're filling out a lot via contact. You really should show up. I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Anything else on your turn, dude? Nope. Dionysia. Uh, do I try and get Lord out, or do I just heal him? Jenny, why? I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry. What are you doing? Using Muscle's drum. Doing terrible drummings. Um. <laughs> Jeff, how's your health looking? I'm not concerned about my health. I'm concerned about my ribs being crushed. Um. Oh, um, what? And my He's health is 46 out of 64. Wow. Can it be my turn? Uh, uh, can I? Yeah, I'm gonna cast magic missile, and I'm gonna aim missile. specific magic missile right at its nose. I want to get it to kind of <laughs> and go right out. Oh, that's cute. You made attempt. I love it. I want to make it sneeze by exploding its sinuses. You're that gonna, was awesome. gonna get boogers all over you. I'm okay with that. Uh, considering that is a like four, so it casts. Okay. Yay! That's all three of the magic missiles going at it. So that's 42 points of arcane damage. So I rolled the luck dice, and I rolled a five and a six. So that's pretty good for you. <laughs> Hell <Yeah>. yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Trevor, you're able to hit on target. Uh, that's 14 per bolt? Yeah. Correct. This vocalist man get it. <laughs> All right. Wow. Again, hammer misses. Oh my god. Okay. Or do you to just stick to healing? Speaking of. Speaking of. King. You heal for seven. Oh, super. I hope that protects my ribs. <laughs> I get you heal for six. Because I have a sneaky suspicion that that mouth is about to perform a fatal blow on me. Actually, I'm gonna try. To it's the opposite. He flings you down, tries oh, to like spike you, like a football spike, to the ground. I'm really heavy, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> you are dealt five physical damage from the impact on the ground. I'm cool with that. Uh, you are you are allowed to get your damage resistance with that. Okay, cool. cool. And Well just one point because it's not like a physical attack. And then the Minotaur leaps into the air and causes a natural shockwave tremor onto the ground. Trevor, <laughs> Trevor. 
Hey, pay attention. Everyone is dealt 12 damage. How's that? Earth? Trevor, your shield does react to this attack. Oh, okay. So it's 2d6. Pathetic roll. Uh, eight points of arcane. Fuck off. I'm just kidding. Jeez. How many? Eighteen. Eighteen. All right, and then um, everyone, give me a Constitution check. Oof, that's not good. Eight plus one is nine. I rolled a ten plus two for twelve. But I have a feeling that's a knockdown check, and I'm already knocked down, so it's a moot point. That is true. It's a moot point. Five. Seven. Everyone is on the ground. Except for Undyne. Uh... So this will probably be pretty, probably pretty, probably be pretty fast. You get up, but what's your minor action? It's a way to assume that she's going to get up. Um, I would like to throw my uh, gladius at him. That is like, a major action, so yes. yes. I Unless you want to use combo to do it. No, I have not the MP to do such a thing. Hmm. Um, can I trip oh, yeah, to trip him with my foot? It's a minor act. That's a major action, so no. Can I get up and move over there? Yes. Okay, I'll major move. Minor action. And Gorgon. Your turn. I get up. I also scream on. Ow! Pyra, you get up, but what else do you do? I mean, that's my major action, right? Yes. Okay. Um. Absolutely nothing. Alright. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. And Dionysia. Uh, stand up, and then when Gormir's out of the mouth, how's everybody else looking at health quiet? I'm at 22. Mm. Not bad. I'm 33 out of 58. Alright, so you're hurting too. Oh, I forgot to take your proc though, right? I get one more. Oh, yeah. Never so, mind, I'm... Okay, then. I'm actually going to cast Flash Heal on myself because I learned my lesson from that last fight. Okay. I'm 47 then out of 58. Fuck. That one. Oof. Unfortunate. Mana burn. Turn's done. Alright. Agate gets up. Agate. Wow, why do I keep doing that? Hammer gets up. Undyne once again is able, to, Undyne is able to summon and cast again as a hail, kind of a hail mary, honestly, and she is able to impale three of the four. Wait, let me verify. Yeah, three of the four. <laughs> Enemy phase. Undyne's the only one that attacked. It's leading towards Undyne. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry, he says it's leading towards Undyne? I just realized what I meant by that. It took me a second to realize you were talking about the Minotaur. Um, Undyne's been hurt. I'm hurt too. But Undyne loves my butt. She does. She really does. I talk. You taunt. Drops me to 8 MP. And unfortunately for you, you are relatively close to her in this current vantage point. So it changes the attack to an outright, like, I'm going to kill you charge, and tries to hit both of you with one horn each. Fuck this guy. I'm going to cut those off. better than two horns. <laughs> He's not going to have any horns when I'm done with him. Except he attacks you for 24. Okay, 21. Come on. And she. Oops. Oops. 
God, why do I keep doing that? Why do I keep doing that? I need to get underneath your seat. Yep. We're friends. <laughs> There we go. Undyne's knocked out. Oh, I wasn't able to see him. Player phase. I feel legit bad. Undyne always gets so fucked up with the boss in many boss fights. She's badass. She can handle it. Fucking weak link. Agate, your turn. Inside me. <laughs> they are currently down after just executing a dual attack. That's so. perfect. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Sorry, sorry. I, I didn't know if Raisin had back up or not. Twenty. Wow. Jenny, <laughs> you cut off its left horn, yes. and this deals enough damage, unbalancing its skull and like dealing, kind of like cutting off a testicle. You know, like testicles, mm -hmm. and Balls. or like cutting off a boob. That you're just like, what the hell happened? Oh god, I've been dealing so much. Oh, oh I can't even. Who is? What? Which way's up? And then it's quickly bleeding out and dying. Told you. I won't have any horns left when I'm done with you. But it still has one. Oh, d I gotta take. I can't. Don't have a combo. Okay, patience. Good. Everyone, take. 600 XP. Woo. Your Arnold Schwarzenegger one-liner didn't make sense. <laughs> oh, come on, grab it. the bull by the hole. Sorry. <laughs> 600, God, I, you say? I have so no remorse for this fucking minute. Is right. it dead now? It's bleeding it out. Is, it is dead. I would like to cut off its other horn. Just for, okay. Because I said I was going to do it. 17. Can I take one of the Minotaur horns? Yeah, I have one. Uh, is anyone... No, I want one. Sorry, I'm taking the other one. Just in case you're feeling a little horny. <laughs> and because I have to obey the rules of the inventory, I'm going to drink my ale that I'm in here right now. <laughs> Use another thing on in your bag. It's like a big room. <laughs> yep. Bottoms up. <laughs> Bottoms the up. The ale is incredibly stale. Mm. Um, ah. And really grossly warm. All right. Mm. You don't feel better after drinking it. You're just like, this feels like habit that I, I should really cut. Reminds me of England. Mm. It reminds you of alcoholism <laughs> and the pains it has on society. <sighs> I'd have a lot more in here for a minute. I'm going to... Children. I'm going to... I'm, I'm, my, my character has been really bad a lot lately. I'm actually going to use, like, a horse kick to, like, kick its face in. Even though it's already dead. Just really bad. Hey, I want some. Sorry, I've been over <laughs> gory the last few sessions, but I do it. <laughs> you kick its eye deeper into its socket, Ugh. and there's a popping burst. Ew! Perfect. Mm. I feel much your, better about your that. Your back hoof is covered in minotaur blood. But now I'm also really, really worried about Undyne. Is she okay? Hammer successfully lived her. Right. And Ham Undyne's like, I, just, I feel like a cat. What life am I on right now? Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and you know, it could have been two horns. I'm done. I clap her on the back. Sweet hammer reviver? Yes. Okay, cool. I was going to, but that works out even better. I'm not feeling really well, guys. Oh, I get really happy about this whole thing. You're happy about me being not oh, so well. No, yeah. the thing dying and. Me killing yeah. it. I'm just yeah. super. Dude, you fucked it up. Super excited. You're 20s on that thing. This is what this I is live great. for. 
Um, dude, you should be a slayer. Uh, it's literally in the description. Mages. Slay! Do you do anything? I'll cast regen on Gormir. Thank you. Slayer receives percent damage That's bonus to large type creatures. Does Spellburst regen do anything? Yes. Yeah. Add another half magic. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, then you heal for 63. <laughs> Whoa. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at full. <laughs> Did it have any uh, loot in here? Remember that dead body? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Remember those horns you took? Yeah, the horns, mm -hmm. the ball of yarn. The sword, Any the dungeon armor. Never, never said it was yarn. I know, but it's a ball of yarn because it was unidentified, so my mind just said yarn. Any treasure? What, Pyra? Can I, can I pluck a couple hairs from the Minotaur's tail? Yes, you can. Okay. I'll just pocket the... You take them... That's not weird at all. You take them disdainfully because you knew that they could have been scorched from your fire spell, but it didn't work. <laughs> I'm not bitter. <laughs> uh, you use you use the Minotaur tail tail hairs as like a floss. Ew. <laughs> I get what you want to do. Treasure. Treasure. The only treasure that you've blatantly been able to see is this is the dead body. The treasure along the way. <laughs> There's a body in the beginning of this room. There is a ball of glowing something. There is a beautiful sword. And there is a body covered in beautiful armor that has like a sort of moonstone-ish glow luster about it. Mm -hmm. But it is very much damaged and therefore not useful to you. Hmm. Tell me more about this orb. The orb. As you grab it and you touch it, it, the light seems to diminish a little bit now that it's touching human skin. It is a ball of yarn. <laughs> but it's glowing. I'm not kidding. But Intuition, man. Glowing. Magical glowing. That's glowing. <laughs> I don't have room for that. The one that the princess gave Theseus so he could find his way back out of the labyrinth after killing the Minotaur. Agate. As you grab hold of it, you are seeing now this ethereal invisible string that was once invisible but now isn't, connecting the ball of string out the door. Oh, we should follow it. Maybe she's at the end of it. Or he. And then you look down at the guy and you're just like, Sup, Thies? What's the sword? Sword is called Aegis. And it's a man and a half sword. This is the uh, bastard sword quality? It is a 1d8 single or a 1d12 oh, okay. two-handed. Got it, got it. it is a um, plus four holy damage and plus three against monsters. Silver blade, glowing, and the pommel has, this, has a head of a gorgon on it. Oh, don't like that. Mm. Also, I don't have room in my inventory, so... I would take it and hang on to it, but my inventory is full. Um, it's a D8 one-handed and it adds four holy damage. It's got the head of a gorgon on it. So that's five. That's five to twelve. That's five to twelve damage, which is seventeen divided by two, which is eight and a half. Versus. Versus. That, that does. Slightly more damage than mine, but mine goes off of willpower and magic, so. Not worth. Yeah, it's it's not it's not a better sword, but it looks amazing. I'm sure it will sell for a lot. So mm -hmm. I pocket it. Okay. You pocket it, you just it is A E G E U S. Cool. A E G E U S. Yes. Aegis. Oh, Sorry. Just barely. Or, wait, why did it spell it like that? I meant for it to be A E G I S. Oh. I don't know what's. That's more know. familiar to me. Yeah, I don't know why it did that. A E G I S. Also, I never knew that it was pronounced that way. Named after Athena's shield? Yes. Well, there you go. What's that? Uh, Aegis, how he just spelled it, that's Athena's shield. The one with the gorgon head. Oh, yeah. Actual Medusa's head. 
Cody. Not Stop my it. guys. Not my problem. It is at this point that someone, doesn't matter who, Hammer, Undyne, one of you, the squirrel that walks by, points out there's a door over there that leads on into the unknown. Into Which the unknown. has the yarn going to it, right? No. Oh, so there's okay. So there's two ways to go. Back the way you came, and now and now a new way. Well, we should definitely go through that door. I agree. Back the way we came. Oh. Should we unspool the yarn as we go? So we don't get sure. lost. I thought the yarn was already. The yarn is still a, like a solid ball, but there is a string that is not that does not appear unless. You grab it, and it is leading. Like it's an ethereal one that passes through doors and walls, and it's leading out this door back the way you came. Oh, okay. And then there's another door that we haven't gone through. That was sitting behind the Minotaur. Well, we should go through there. That's my point. Right, I agree. But uh, we have two votes for the door behind the Minotaur. Do we want to take the yarn with us? We have fourteen votes for the door behind the Minotaur. Yes, we should take the other way. Okay! Absolutely. And as you walk towards the new door, you see the string just naturally unfurling in your hand, and it follows you, continuing from the door that you came through, leading to you. Intuition roll. God, I'm like really tripping out that it was actually yard. <laughs> Ariadne's string. I knew what it was, I just don't want to be in your intuition tells you that this was an instrument used to guide whoever that was, Feast, um, out of the labyrinth. So whichever way he went, he would be able to find his way back out to the origin point where he started. Right. Okay. As you guys approach this door, you can tell that it is much more ornate than any other door that you've seen in here, except for that, you know, there's only been that one other door. And just behind it, you hear quite a bit of, like, clockwork sounds of gears shifting, maybe a steam, and as you open the door, you're feeling, the magic users, you're feeling kind of like a, a pop in Magicka, like a spell just broke when you open the door. It was like something's been released. Not negative, not like something's about to explode, but more like by opening the door, you're freeing something. And looking in, it's like the workshop in Daedalus's, uh area, but so much brighter and so much busier and not cleaner, but it's just like there's more activity. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it's not nearly as like dank and depressing in here. There is a flat tabletop that's around that's generating this holographic projection of several rooms and hallways that are in, like, catacombs that are, like, all interconnected. And just behind this projection table, which you guys have never seen anything like this before, is an older man with longer, shaggy gray hair who is watching this red dot on the projection. And as you guys are seeing the red dot move... And he sees it stop, he looks up at you. And he lifts his head. And then he rises a bit more, and he's quite tall. And then he slowly walks around the table and just sort of opens his hands like Tadasana from yoga and says nothing at all. I can't see you guys anymore. Yeah, we turned off the camera because we were losing so much audio and it actually is helping having the camera off. Okay. Um, is this um, I say hi. He nods to you. Can you still only answer yes and no? <laughs> yes. Memories. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's the list. I'm gonna let you take the forefront on this one, Dionysia. 
Yeah, I'd love to, but I don't know how much longer I can talk. Okay. That's fair. That is fair. <laughs> well, here's what I'll say. I'm actually okay with ending earlier tonight because you guys went through several channels of the labyrinth and had several battles and you're sick. So let's end uh, earlier tonight, if you guys don't mind. It's fine. Is that okay? I love that. Okay, yeah, let's, do, let's do that. No, I'm just kidding. It's okay. And we can pick this up next week uh, with you guys talking with Dallas. Okay? Yeah, that would be awesome. And you I guys was actually going to ask that, so. Get better. You guys can fucking get better. Jesus. <laughs> anyway. We um, came out of left field, TBH. What's that? The, the the sickness, whatever the fuck is going on, it kind of leveled us both today. And yeah, it was unexpected. I blame the nephews. They're germ factories. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. It, it only gets better when you're a parent. And you both get it. If yeah, I can only imagine. <laughs> anyway, tune in next week for our Jesus filled. D&D sessions. Um, Hallelujah. And, uh... Oh, look, the call button. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.